So we're installing the Z pool form, pool coping forms on this pool here. And what these forms do is they they clip right into they clip right into this thing right here. So this is the form right here. So this little this little piece right here clips into that. And then we can run our forms right up and pour the concrete right against that so they have like a concrete coping all the way around the pool. And then you I mean you could pour your whole pool deck with this. We're just doing a like a border around this first and then we're going to come back and do the stamp part of the pool afterwards. They just want like a 10 inch border. So we're going to we're going to put these forms on. We'll show you how we clip them on like this and then it has the liner that goes in there. This is like a kind of like a stone face liner that we're putting in this so when we pour it and uh, that's what we're doing here today so that's how we tap the form into the groove we get that rubber mallet you can see how that goes right in there and that's it it's just friction held in there so that's we do all the base the base pot first and then we get the tops on, then we put the liner in there and squeeze it down tight. That one, you know, we gotta cut around that skimmer. That's why we start with that one, because we already have some that are cut. You can see how the, the, the opening to that skimmer is there, so we gotta kinda cut the form to go in there and then try not to cut too many of them. That's how we get that form on right there. So it's a pretty easy system to use. Goes up pretty fast. So we'll get all them tapped in around there first. Make sure all the corners are fit. We got flexible ones for the corners. So this is the same form right here. It's just been cut, so these are flexible. So those will flex around the corners. And then we gotta fit in those solid pieces there for the straight ones. Should be all right, I think. So you can see how that see how that flexible one goes. You could those come in eight foot lengths too. We've just done so many pools. We've we've got some small pieces that we had to cut, but those fit right in those corners pretty good. They flex right around. And then we'll just keep going with a straight one. Then hopefully we'll have one that fits there, so we don't have to cut another one. But we've we've done so many pools. You can see all the pieces we got cut up right there. So these corners are pretty tight right here, but most pools are like that. So when we tap on, when we tap these flexible corners on, sometimes they do break. I mean, it is plastic. So we try to be, you know, like that one there, we try to only snug them up as much as we need to so they'll hold. You can see we got them, them two over there to hold all right. Um, but it is plastic, so you just gotta be careful tapping them. That one there, you can see we had to cut to fit. And that's just gonna be part of the part of the deal with these forms. You're not always gonna have the exact length you need, so you gotta cut it to fit. And he's just touching that corner up, making sure the corner is square. So they go together nice and tight. So we got this one last corner to do here. Uh, we gotta, we'll get the flexible piece in first, and then we'll have to cut 
We'll have to cut these two to fit just because of the size of the pool. You can see how now we can see how tight this is here, and then as you come into these sharp corners, you can't snug it up too much. You can see how it's a little bit off there, or it's just going to break. You can see how those are right tight together. But when you pour the concrete over that, we'll just duct tape that right there so the concrete doesn't go down through. And then after we strip the forms, you'll never know that that wasn't as tight as that there. It'll look perfectly normal. This is probably the easiest way we found to cut this stuff. The regular diamond blade on that just cuts to it really easy. Pretty precise. And that's it. That's all you need to do to cut these things. All right. So the base. The base form's all on. Next thing we do is we put the top piece on. Slide that right down over the top. And then we can put the, the pool liner forms inside it. So those just simply slide right down over the top. See the little groove right there? Slides right down over. And then this holds the, the form liner and we'll squeeze that down tight. All right, so once we get the base on and we get the top on, <coughs> the base and the top, then the next thing is pool liner goes right in there like that. And then we squeeze that top down right on top of it. And that's it, that's what holds it in place. Corners are a little tight because there's such a sharp radius. You can see how this rubber form has a tiny little groove right there, and that's what sets right up underneath this lip here. So when you when you squeeze that down, it holds it right in place tight. So we just go around, lay them in there, squeeze the tops down, and. That's it. That's it for the inside part. And we just got to form up the outside. That's it. That's how that's held in place. Nice and tight. Got that rock face type of coping. All right, so we got all the forms up. Got the outside form up, pitches away about an eighth of an inch, and a, that's ten and a half inches wide. We got the Z pool forms up. Now we're just going to tie a little. We've got a little mat or rebar. We're going to put in this outside edge for for this border. I've been using for three eighths number three rebar. I've been using this Dewalt. This is like a pipe threader cutter, but you slide the rebar right in here. Squeeze the trigger and it cuts this 3 8 rebar really easy. So this this thing's pretty handy to use. For you guys cutting 3 8 rebar, I would definitely recommend getting this thing here. It works really good. Yep. Good 
see the the rock face texture we got on the inside of the pool coping. So we just want to make sure we get all the air bubbles out of that. So we vibrate it really good. Then we tap it. You can still see some of the bubbles coming up. That gets rid of that gets rid of about 99% of them. When, after we strip that form, there's always a couple little ones, but that does a pretty good job. So what we're doing now is we're gonna cut we're gonna cut grooves in where each one of these lines are. We laid them out at four about four feet. The owner wants this section to look like a four foot piece of stone, so we're gonna <coughs> groove it out. Using, we're going to join it using the joiner right there. And then we'll touch them up a little bit when the concrete sets up a little bit more. And then we'll texture them using the stamps over here. So we'll just make them look like a, like a piece of slate using those stamps. Yeah, there's one over there, yeah. So the roller we're using is like a piece of slate. It's leaving that slate texture to make these look like individual rocks. as easy as that we just got to finish up waiting to pot in the shades a little bit a little bit wetter so we're waiting for that to dry okay. so that's it for the stone texture <clears throat> we just used our roller looks like a looks like a slab of stone that's what exactly what the homeowner wanted now we'll come off this with about nine foot of pool deck that will stamp in ashler slate we'll strip those inside forms get the outside forms off and he'll have his, at least he'll have his pool coping on. But that's as simple as that is. Putting a little texture on some concrete, getting it to look like slate. We're all cut, Darren. Uh, I you guys get here that. So the next step will be, you know, obviously you've got to let the concrete dry and cure. Then we'll wash, we'll wash this, get any residue off. And then we'll put, you know, put the sealer on it, get it all sealed up, and that'll be it for this piece. And we'll do that in the next few days. No big hurry on that right now. All right, so we're getting the rest of this pool deck ready. It's going to be a stamp concrete pool deck. And we're, gonna, we're stripping off the coping forms on the inside today. This is the tool we use to strip it off with. It comes right from Z Pool Form. You just got to be careful when you strip it off. You don't damage the liner. Um, that's why... Darren's putting some duct tape on this piece right here. That metal piece right there slides up in behind the form and just kind of wedges it off. But it also goes up against the, the vinyl liner, so we just want to make sure we don't damage anything. So we're going to get that off. I'll show you how that goes up in there. See how that slides back up in there? And then we just kind of push it off now those forms are in there pretty tight so some sometimes they come off really really hard sometimes they slide off not too bad you can see how that slides it off right there we're going to go around the whole inside of the pool that way take those forms off and then that's it for that inside edge that inside edge will be done after that there's that one We'll just keep working our way down the rigid forms the straight ones come off a little bit easier than the the bendable ones like that those come off pretty hard but those rigid ones aren't too bad all right so that's with the 
that's what the concrete coping looks like after all the forms are stripped so it overhangs the pool gives you that nice rock face texture we'll take that and we'll rub that down that edge down underneath there we'll rub this top edge down a little bit so but that's it that's how those z pool forms gives you the concrete coping around the pool what we do we'll just clean them up what we're doing here store them back in the tubs we reuse those over and over again the only parts that kind of break are sometimes these corners these corners here they're kind of where they're so tight going in here sometimes we break them taking them off so if you're going to have to buy some extra parts these would be the ones they come about that long to start with you can see we've got some pretty short ones here so but we use them over and over again so we're all sealed up we've got two coats of sealer on it we're using the the decocrete d1 sealer two coats it's it penetrates into the concrete and it leaves a little bit of a film on the surface so it helps pop the colors so that's what we're, we're so that's what we're hoping for right near that we're trying to match you know the colors of this granite so I think I think we're pretty darn close with our colors but if you want to learn how to do this I got a stamp concrete course down in the description I got links down in the description where you can learn how to do stamp concrete. I teach you how to do stamp concrete just like this. So you have to check that out. It's also on my website, everythingaboutconcrete.com. Look for training courses and click on that. That's it, all done. About a 900 square foot pool deck.